This project is by far the most ambitious project I've ever taken on. The plan from how he laid it out was borderline unbelievable. Chris is going as big as you can possibly go. And it's almost like hard to believe that Chris, this like professional skier who has a family and a million other things going on, is going to produce this movie. It just shows you like what a vision can do and how it can create something that becomes so magical and so real. I've never had another trip or project that was so heavily invested in by the athlete themselves. That is unique and special and a huge risk too for Chris. It's a tough one to describe quickly anyways, and I, I mean, I don't have a 10 second elevator pitch for anything I talk about. I had the opportunity to collaborate with the Grateful Dead. They approached me to do a ski with them. That led into this concept I've had for a movie. I wanted to uh, repeat a night segment with Sweetgrass because I was with them for Afterglow up in Alaska and it was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Can you rotate that pinwheel a little bit? I just want to see like the whole range. Mike, this is that darker blue up top. I need a, a full frame of it, but that gives you an idea. I like it. I wish it was like a bigger spread, though. Doing a little test flight on the drone. Damn, those colors look really sick. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my god. So I just made it down to Mammoth, and this is the first time I've gotten to lay my eyes on the Hemlocks, which is where we're shooting the night portion of Chris's movie, and it looks pretty magical. The people that were chosen to work with us through this video project, they're deeply rooted friends and family of ours. It is like a unique group of individuals from Rob Machado, Jeremy Jones, Danny Davis, Kimmy and Chris. And the conversation is like pretty seamless and normal, but also really thought provoking as well. These guys are kind of just set up in their light suits and it's pretty surreal with all the fog. Crazy vision from Chris on this one, but it seems to be all coming together. Amazing up here. Check it out. What? You psycho. This is epic. It's like otherworldly. Putting on these suits and then looking down now, it's like, it's a really cool it's process. It's crazy to think we're out there with mountains. Yeah, right now. totally. Oh man, it was a lot of work. Very cool. Have the dream team, that's pretty special. Okay, Jenny's back. All right, strap in, my friends. Camera crew at the base is 100. AB, 100%. We are 100%. Cool. Three, two, one, dropping.
when Chris was developing the idea for this, he wanted to do this in the eye of a storm. I don't think we really thought about what that would bring. Hundred and thirty mile an hour winds, freezing fog. Generators are going down, freezing up. These things just inevitably have more variables and more challenges, and we faced all of those. Light suits are shorting and fuses are snapping just because it's so freezing cold out there. And it gets to a point where you just can't do anything, so we're missing a few ribs here and there in some of the shots. This process has been insane, but it's so worth it. Even though we're exhausted and a, a day off would feel good, it's not gonna happen because I, I want this project to succeed. Chris is an artist, he's a skier, he's a producer, he's creating this incredible project and the people that he brought together are all an extension of his family. That tribe that you build is kind of what makes what we do so special. I never understood it before I had a child, but you just inevitably grow apart from friends by virtue of those friends not having children of their own. And I wanna open my child's eyes to how special this planet really is. Selfishly, I want to be one of Koa's best friends and do everything with him. And Michelle seems to just still be as big a part of our life. Watching Chris's vision become a reality and getting to be a part of it was, it was just an honor. This is a full year long movie that Chris has been working towards and I'm excited to see the full scope of it. Being a part of the shoot was the first time where I felt like I was a part of an art project. And I knew every time I was dropping in, magic was happening. I don't know, you leave and you kind of wish that it kept going. I kept wanting to go skiing the next night at night on a lit up face, but that's pretty far off. I guess you have to be Chris Chiller to make that happen. <laughs>